Well, hello, friends. Welcome back to Commute Talk. I'm uh, in a weird queue here on the road, and I don't know what we're queuing for, but maybe we'll find out. Uh, we'll see. But I thought I would talk a bit about um, being wrong, because uh, this weekend I worked a little bit on the virtual memory stuff in the kernel, and I made this change where I made um, the memory that backs the executable of a program, uh, I made it a private mapping instead of being a shared mapping. And I was thinking that um, if we make it a private mapping, then um, every program will have its own private version of the executable um, in memory. And you couldn't um, mess with a running program's executable by just mapping that same memory and then changing it. And I kind of piggybacked on the same mechanism that we have for mmap, so uh, basically map file or map private. Uh, and I landed this, and I was kind of happy with it. But at the same time, something wasn't quite right. And I, I, even, I even didn't really feel confident when I was writing the commit message. And then I was writing in the commit message, like, oh, this is a huge architectural improvement. But I couldn't even really explain why it was. I just really felt like it was at the time. Um, <clears throat> and then um, yesterday, um, Sergey commented on, on this, saying, like, why is this a huge architectural improvement? Um, it seems like a pessimization. And um, I had to think about it. And um, he explained to me that basically it's not useful to map a, uh, an executable as private, because private mappings only protect, uh, protect, you from, um, protect the file system from you writing to the file, rather than protecting you from someone writing to a file that you've mapped. Because um, POSIX does not define the behavior of um, a private mapping where um, changes are made to the underlying inode after you've mapped it. And I can understand why it's like that, because systems want to be able to implement um, on-demand loading of memory, right? So we do the same in Serenity, where uh, if you memory map something, we don't actually read the whole thing from disk right away, but rather we, um, we populate the memory driven by page faults. And so um, in switching to private mappings for executables, I had really just made it so that we duplicate the memory for executables, um, because now we were not able to share that memory between every instance of a running program. Um, and when he explained it to me, then I just had to admit that, yeah, I'm, I'm totally wrong about this. Uh, and I'm so glad that he did. And I went and reverted the, the changes and everything. And it really got me thinking about the um, how being wrong can be so um, it, it can be so different depending on how you take it. And I think that um, in the past, I would definitely have been a lot more defensive uh, about this type of thing. And I, I could still feel those kind of impulses a little bit, but um, I'm, I guess I'm like a bit more mature now, so I know how to how to react or how to handle these impulses like, because they still come to me, like, oh, shit, you're wrong. Like, how do we cover this up? Or, uh, um, or this uh, feeling that, oh, I'm supposed to know better than this. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to know this. Um, I wrote this code, and I wrote the commit message, and, and like, and now it's, it doesn't seem to be entirely good, and, like, shit. Um, how, do I, how do I explain this away in a way that makes me look like I was right all along? Uh, this sort of this sort of dumb shit that the little guy on my shoulder is telling me, um, and I'm so glad to be, I guess, old enough or whatever it is enough that I can I can just say like screw off to that guy <laughs> and uh, admit fault instead, and I think that it's such an important exercise to do whenever you get a chance to admit that you're wrong about something, then uh, don't just brush it off, but like take the opportunity to humble yourself a little bit, because um, it's, it's helpful. And it, it really gives you room to grow, because 
Um, if you never do it, then you'll end up building yourself up on this on this fake um, fake stuff. I don't I don't really know how to articulate this, but you probably understand what I mean. And um, I wanted to mention this because it's something that I was originally quite worried about when starting this project. <clears throat> now, I've had I was having a lot of fun, obviously, when I started, and I really enjoyed being you know, by myself in a project and I can do anything and I can design anything any way that I want and, and make any kind of goofy abstractions or follow any cargo cult that I wanted to. But there was always that sort of um, irritating feeling that I'm alone here, so if I make something stupid, there's nobody to call me out on it or, or like to, to call me and, and tell me, hey, this is stupid, um, you're wrong about this, da 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 and or, or even just suggesting improvements because in the beginning there was none of that it was just me <clears throat> and i'm so w super happy that now <laughs> the project is in a place where if i do something boneheaded like making all the executables private so we just double the memory usage uh, for no reason then there's somebody reading the commits like sergey and saying hey wait a minute this is not right, is it? And I don't, I don't even know how to describe how awesome that is. Like, I'm so so grateful <laughs> that that people are uh, are doing this. And likewise, whenever I show something in a video and it looks a little off or looks a little silly in some way, then people are like commenting, saying, "Hey, this would look better if it was this and that way," or. Um, or if I make some stupid off by one mistake, then people sometimes message me about that. And it's, it's really nice to have, um, have somebody like checking on this stuff. And it's, it's also really good to get out of this idea that, that I'm, I'm supposed to know everything because I built a large part of the system, right? Um, just because I built the whole system, well, I mean, that's, I can't really say that anymore because I didn't build the whole system anymore, but just because I built a large part of the system, it doesn't mean that I'm right about everything or that I know how everything should be. Um, I'm, this, is, this is a huge learning exercise for me, after all, and I'm, I'm trying to get better at programming and trying to get better understanding of, of Unix and of system concepts and of programming architecture and all kinds of things. So... I'm here learning too. Like, I definitely don't want anyone to think that I know all these things and I, I just know how to, everything should be. Um, I'm here learning too. I'm making mistakes and I'm so damn happy that there's uh, people out there to tell me that I'm screwing up and to teach me about how things work and how things uh, should work and how it could work and how things can be better and so on. So, <sighs> damn, I'm... I <laughs> I'm just so, I'm, happy, I'm really happy about this, and it's it's a weird kind of happiness because it's a happiness that's um, grounded in humility and in being wrong, and um, that's the kind of happiness that I think you can really learn from. Uh, anyway, um, I don't quite have my voice today, I can tell, so I'm I'm gonna need to stop talking now, but um, I just wanted to <laughs> to mention this real quick because. Um, thank you, Sergey, for uh, telling me that I was wrong and for uh, telling me how things work and how, how we could make them better. And let's keep doing that and let's keep making things better because uh, then we can build something pretty good, I think. So thanks, everyone, for hanging out with me on the commute. <coughs> and I will see you all next time. Bye.